in this video we are going to discuss a very important concept and that concept is about finding a highest common factor now if you see the word highest common factor which is also abbreviated as HCF the word common factor is already in it and just to summarize we have already discussed about the common factors earlier so what are common factors as we know that when we take a pair of more than two numbers we write their factors and whichever factors occur in all those numbers they are said common factors so if we take an example let us say that we take a pair of numbers as 12 and 16 and then we write down the factors for both of these so the factors for 12 will be 1 2 3 4, 6 and 12. Then what are the factors for 16? There will be 1, 2, 3 is not a factor, 4 is a factor, 8 is a factor and 16 is a factor. Now which factors are common for both 12 and 16 other than 1? So we see that 2 is common, we also see that 4 is common, and is there any other number that we can see which is common here? No. So 4 is common. Now, highest common factor simply means that amongst these common factors, which one is the highest? So in this case, if we see, 4 is the highest number, it's the highest common factor. Right? So for 12 and 16, right? 4 is the HCF or the highest common factor. So now let us formally define the meaning of highest common factor. HCF of two or more given numbers is the highest or the greatest of their common factors. That is what it is. HCF is also quite well known as a GCD, greatest common divisor. And this name is quite intuitive, GCD, because if you look at it in a different way, GCD is nothing but the biggest number that is an exact divisor of both the numbers. Ponder upon this for a while. It is the biggest number that is an exact divisor for both the numbers. So you can, so when you divide both of these numbers, right, when you can divide both of these numbers with this HCF, right, the resulting div divisions, right, the resulting packets into what you have to add, it will be this smallest ones so uh, and now for 12 and 16 we found out straight away that 4 is the HCF but what would if we have more than two numbers is there a formal way to find out the HCF for a given set of numbers so yes there is a method to do so and this I have outlined the method here which I will be explaining in the next uh, slide on with an example so the first thing we do is we do a prime factorization for each of the numbers. Then we get the common prime factors for all the numbers. And then what we do is we multiply the common factors to get the HCF or GCD. Now this doesn't definitely make sense at the moment but will make sense when we start discussing it with an example. So in this case what we have taken is we have taken three numbers. 20, 28 and 36 and now we have to find out the HCF for these numbers. So this is our step 1 which says that we do a prime factorization for all these numbers and if you remember the method for prime factorization we start with the number 2 right and then try dividing this number. So when I divide 2 with 20 I have 10 as the remainder. Then can 10 be divided by 2? Yes then we get 5. Now 5 cannot 3 I cannot use 3 to divide 5 I have to use 5 so this gives me 1 finally right? that is I, I can divide 5 and the remainder will be 0 that is we can divide this then we find out do the prime factorization for this number 28 so again I start with 2 so 2 when multiplied by 14 gives me 28 when 2 is multiplied by 7 gives me 14. Now I cannot divide 7 by 3 neither by 5 and the, so the prime number that comes over here is 7 
and I have to multiply 7 by 1 to get 7. So this is what I get here. And now let us do the prime factorization for 36. Again I start with the number 2. So 2 when multiplied by 18 gives me 36. Then can I divide 18 by 2? Yes, we can. So 2 when multiplied by 9 will give me 18. Then we 3 is the next prime number. So 3 when multiplied by 3 gives me 9. And I can divide 3 exactly when I multiply it by 1. So now we will write down the common factors as shown below. So, so that is the step 2. So what we are doing is now we are writing down all the factors here. So uh, the factors that we see here is so first let us write down the factors and identify which ones are common. So um, let me just remove this. So for 20 we have 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5. For the number 28 the factors are 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 7. And for 36, the factors are 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. Now we have to identify the common factors here. So the common factors here if you see is 2. This 2 occurs in all the 3 and these, this 2 also occurs in all the, in this in the prime factorizations of all the three numbers. Now, once we have, do we find any other common factors appearing in this? Answer is no. So then we come to step three, in which we take the products of the common factors. So we have two multiplied by two, which is equal to four. So we can say that the HCF for the numbers 20, 28 and 36 is 4. So again this means that 4 is the highest number amongst the factors of these three numbers which will divide all these three numbers exactly. So that is how we go about finding HCF.